Hi, my name is Shiju Samuel. I'm a production DBA. Uh, I use PowerShell with console and Vim editor to write all my scripts. Today I wanted to show you a Vim script uh, which helps me to query SQL Server directly from Vim. So let me just fire up the Vim first. Okay. Now first thing what I want to show you is, uh, is my VimRC file. And here uh, I want to show you the mapping. Okay. Now I have map, mapped my leader X with uh, with this command. What exactly it does is it copies the uh, the text into the queue register and calls execute SQL. Okay. Now I'm sourcing this particular file which contains my execute SQL definition so let me just go here D okay. now just to go uh, give a walkthrough on this uh, the first thing what I do is I copy the queue register contained into the SQL query and check if SQL query has anything in it or not otherwise go out then write a file with the SQL query which contains our uh, uh, you know the SQL and into C temp vim dot SQL okay so I'm doing some buffer management out here buffer and window management out here to be precise um, if the buffer has been created first, I'm setting a couple of variables here to, you know, where to connect. Uh, this is where I keep my database name and here where I keep my the server name. Now, at the end, what I do is I hand over the database server name and my DB and the file which I've just created to SQL which runs runs the script uh, script against that database and gets the data uh, database output okay now I'll show you how exactly it works in your okay uh, let's write some query here select star from sys dot databases okay now I have to visually select this select it now I have to hit my uh, you know the map which gives me the result instantly here and I have been uh, my focus is also changed to this particular window now this is a this is a buffer which I can use um, to even edit things out here I can go through the entire script and you know Okay. Now the best part is I can even start editing the output here itself. For example, if I have to write a select, this way, and uh, I can get get this back and up and run my query again. That's all. Thanks a lot.